Hey everyone, I'm sorry I can't be at the NSX Same Fab Day 2006 party in person. I was hoping to come and meet you all, but unfortunately I couldn't get the time off. So instead I'm sending you this little video greeting. As you can see I recorded it using the new Blue MSX 2.5. We had a support for digitizing and superimposing, so what you see is an emulated Philips NMS 8280 with superimposing. Uh, I'm going to quickly show some of the new features in the emulator, uh, starting with the new keyboard configuration editor and joystick configuration editor. It works pretty much like before. You can select a key and then press another key on, uh, on the PC or a joystick button, like this one, which is kind of cool, so you can have joystick buttons for uh, keyboard input if you want. Uh, the joystick control has a uh, bunch of new controllers, for example, the uh, hex terminator laser, uh, thanks to Niriki. Uh, so there are quite a lot of cool stuff here. Uh, Niriki also made the new Finnish translation, so as you can see it's looking pretty good. Another new feature is the IDE support, and I'm going to just show how to enable it. It's quite easy. You go to the cartridge slot and then select uh, the Sunrise ID, which is probably the easiest. And you just go to the hard drive and insert a new hard drive. I'm not going to go too deep into that, it's quite straightforward. Some other new features are we add the support for the uh, FEM synthesizer in uh, the Yamaha CXFM um, computer. So we don't have the media yet, but it's coming. Uh, so, But some of the Yamaha ROMs are working pretty good already. And uh, yeah, there are a lot of other minor fixes also in this release. So you'll probably be happy. Uh, but yeah, that's about it, and I hope you have a good time at a party, and I hope to see you next year, maybe, or another year. Take care, everyone. Okay, bye.